to penetrate very good products into the skin. Hence, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Laser MD or Laser MD, which is actually a unique method of creating channels through the skin painlessly and then allowing the nutritional support products that actually can be penetrated into the skin without any kind of uh, problems, much, much deeper into the skin. And um, how is uh, Laser MD different? It comes with a product. Okay, the product is actually completely natural. So of course it's kept separated into the powder form and the liquid medium is actually kept separated. And now I'm going to break the ampule. And then if we shake like this or shake like this, it will take us one day to shake. So what we do is we're gonna put this inside the machine and one patient gets one product, okay? So once it's inside the machine, I'm going to press it on, and there it goes, okay? And within a period of seven minutes, there's a beautiful blend, blend of the products. So we have many kind of products that we can use on the patient's skin according to their problems. So it could be vitamin C, it could be vitamin a, it could be transonic and also it's got the nanosome multi-granulator technology which brings the liposome into the different layers of the skin, thereby giving super protection and effectiveness for the skin treatment. And this particular uh, product that I just mixed and now we are activating it, we deliver that much more effectively into the skin. So let's look at the demo. The presence of VEGIF is plain to see. After four treatments, you can see the dramatic reduction of VEGIF, and the results are available for the world to see. This example is just one of thousands of successful treatments in 30 countries. The proof is conclusive. Currently, the only laser on the market with FEM is the dual yellow multi-wave length laser. Hello there and welcome back uh, on Rama today. In the studio we have Dr. Elliot Pratman michael She's of course our consultant, <laughs> uh, cosmetic surgeon as well as of course our total wellness guru. Hello and welcome Doctor, how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. You're looking fresh and red today. <laughs> You're bringing some vibrancy into yes, the studio. I love red, I love colours. Yes, <laughs> colours always bring uh, a little bit of fun into the life. Now, uh, as we um, saw earlier, there was an introduction of uh, these therapies that are available right now. Now yes. perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about it. I understand uh, we are going to speak about the dual yellow laser treatment. Now tell yeah. us what is that treatment? I love the dual yellow laser treatment. Uh, I'm board certified for laser procedures and I'm also member for many boards that uh, govern laser surgeries and laser procedures. Mm -hmm. um, I've used many type of lasers but I found that the dual yellow is one of the very unique lasers. Mm -hmm. Of course as you saw it comes from Australia, nozzle laser yeah. and it is a copper bromide mm -hmm. uh, technology whereby the copper bromide gas is converted to active uh, healing photons okay. which then we focus in two wavelengths okay, okay. one is the green yeah. and the other one is the yellow then hence the name dual the two. dual yellow right yeah okay. so it's a multi-wavelength laser in the sense that you could just use green as to treat uh, bulky lesions like you have warts sebaceous 
you know, uh, malformations or pigmented spots, warts, right. things like that. You could use the powerful energy of the green light to mm -hmm. treat that. Okay. And of course, uh, with a different wavelength comes the yellow light, mm -hmm. which has got more healing properties for the skins, mm -hmm. whereby if it is just for a rejuvenation purpose, then you would get a lot of speeding up of the fibroblast itself in the skin, mm -hmm. which can be used just for rejuvenation, thereby treating scars, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, even some uh, looseness or skin laxity itself of the skin. And uh, because this laser cannot, it's not just multi-wavelength, yep. it's also different methods of treating. Mm -hmm. That means the green light, we, we, we were talking about re removing spots and bulky lesions from yep. the skin yep. just in one treatment. Right. That is using a photoablative, okay. you know, wavelength. Right. And of course, you can also use a photo acoustic which is just by the vibration part oh. with the laser okay. you can also kill certain unwanted uh, you know lesions uh, on top of the skin or even inside the skin right. and then of course the main reason uh, why it is so uh, good to use is that it it's absolutely amazing for acne treatment right. and for melasma treatment so in my centers right. of course is the first line of treatment for people who want to treat acne is not just immediately but also for a long-term solution so right. basically what it is doing is Propanibacter acnes is the bacteria, kind of a bacteria, which is actually propagating more oil secretion and then blockage and then the acne or the pimples. Right. Okay. So, but with the, using the dual LO and mainly the LO lights in a stronger spectrum, it actually kills the Propanibacter acnes, thereby immediately reducing porphyrin production, okay. which causes all the inflammation, the redness, and then going on to pustule formations and nodule formations, which we call as the type 1, the type 2, type 3 acne. Right. So just by using one treatment, we are able to give dramatic results. But wow. of course, for a more permanent result, whereby you are shrinking the size of the sebaceous uh, gland, by reducing the sebaceous secretion, and also limiting the growth of the Propnibacter acnes inside, we are actually able to, within four to six treatments, give a more permanent result whereby the acne doesn't, uh, you know, come back that in a, in a very bad way. Mm -hmm. And similarly for melasma treatment, we are using a combination of the green and the yeah. yellow lights, yellow, right? okay. thereby the green is absorbed to the melanin pigment, right. thereby immediately rupturing the melanin pigment and dispersing it, right. whereby it can be taken up by the macrophages or the skin cells that go to fight and take away dead things from the skin. Okay. And the yellow lights is actually reducing the production of VEGF, which was shown in the slide. It's a clinical study that shows that, uh, and that was an advanced microscopic picture of the uh, skin itself, where you saw that the melanin has been uh, reduced right. uh, just by using the yellow light, right. by reducing the production of VEGF. Okay. And of course, the yellow light also has a major part to play in reducing the aberrant blood vessels okay. or the wrong kind of blood vessels, uh -huh. which has got a major uh, impact on recurring melasma. Right. You know, melasma is those black patches that occur around yes. the cheek. That upper lip, yeah, pigmentation, right. which is chronic right. and doesn't go away by easily applying a cream right. um, or some such treatment. Right. Uh, even like uh, professional peels or chemical peels has been tried. Uh, but melasma is can be malignant, mm -hmm. but it can be very, very strong, and it's actually supported by blood vessels most of the time, 80 percentage of the cases. Right. So, this so by killing the yellow lights, actually kill the aberrant blood vessels or the wrong kind of blood vessels that supporting the growth and the That's reoccurrence, feeding. it's feeding. Right. So it's not just about treating the top layer uh, by reducing with a peel or with a uh, uh, bleaching product right. or skin, skin which care Which is cream. temporary. Which is very temporary. Right. And we've talked about how certain not so well produced products, right. you know, hydroquinone and even chemicals can cause a lot of damage on the skin right. and even on internal organs. We right. have spoken about that before. Right. So we try to reduce the usage of that kind of uh, creams on the skin, but rather treating it from the internal. So the green light part of it absorbs the pigment and the yellow light part of it actually reduces 
the blood vessels that is feeding it right. and the VEGFs are reduced as well with the VEGFs have a great part to play in producing melanin pigments again right so you're mentioning that it takes uh, four to six treatments for you to be able to see you know yes. uh, quite a long term yes. drastic results yes. now how long would this, this uh, results last does it need to be continuously maintained uh, melasma can be very, very uh, pathological, or we call it malignant melasmas, okay. where there is a lot of, uh, sometimes it could be due to uh, early sun damage, yes. severe sun Correct. damage that has already irritated and excited the skin yeah. to have so much of VEGFs that it actually keeps bringing out the melanin pigments in clumps, which is unsightly. Right. Having a little bit of melanin in the skin that gives us the color in the yes. skin is actually good. Yes. It's a protective thing. Right. So no one should think of having their skin bleached, yeah. you know, so that they look white. That is not good, <laughs> you know. You look um, like Michael Jackson in the past. Yes, yeah. Your nose may fall off. <laughs> <laughs> but if you uh, were to treat the clumping of the pigments that causes a lot of uh, lack of self-esteem and yep. lack of self-confidence in people, yep. uh, then you may need to have a little bit of protective, you know, uh, skin care treatments given as well so that the results may last, you know, a lot more longer time. Right. Uh, so most of the time in Malaysia, I would tell people uh, hiding from the sun is not a possibility. <laughs> yeah, because yes. we have passive sun exposure sometimes. Even indoors. But by, yeah, indoors we have bright lights. Yeah. When we drive out, many of the UV rays can transmit through glasses even if it is tinted. Yeah. Uh, so then we may need to have very good vitamin C products, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and also uh, sun protection mm -hmm. applied very regularly on the skin. So okay. most of my patients who've been treated for melasma will get treatments like this, you know, uh, given to them for topical use or like what we saw earlier, I did a the demo on MD. the laser MD and right. laser MD is a very 100% natural kind of uh, skin care mm -hmm. that can be introduced very deep into the skin. Right. Um, you see, generally skin care is limited uh, because many of the molecules, if it's slightly larger, may not be able to reach to where we want right. it to reach. Okay. So by doing a treatment where we are making tracks with a fractional laser, mm -hmm. but it's a very gentle laser where it won't really excite uh, your skin. You don't have like red blotchy skin for a week or so. Right. But it's just to open the skin and create tracks in the skin. Right. And then the very 100% natural uh, vitamin C or transonomic or vitamin A, all of this can reduce or can even we have growth factor medium right. which can actually be absorbed and uh, penetrated deeper into the skin. Right. So what's the dif difference between uh, the dual laser and, and, and how does LASE MD actually support it? Do you do it together? Do you yes, do it? I would like to do it together, yeah. provided my patients agreed. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there'll be One uh, a the bit, other, of, no? bit of extra cost, but generally when uh, we are doing packages with the wellness of the people's, uh, my patient's skin in mind, of course, they'll get a very you know, good package done for them, but mm. the benefits is a lot, basically, mm. because once with the laser, we have already broken down the skin, and the next step is to provide Heal. the skin with the nutrients. right amount of nutrients right. because not everybody's skin is the same. Yeah. Some have the internal defenses whereby they can have their stem cells come right up to heal, you know, whatever has been done by the lasers, the macrophages do, do great work, yeah. you know, and their skin actually can see great improvement within a week. Right. But for some people, if they've already sensitized their skin mm. by doing a lot of wrong treatments and right. if they are nutritional support you know is not very good i right. always believe that beauty is from within yeah. so what how you take care of your internal health is so important right. uh, but if that is not possible mm -hmm. to because it may not be possible for us to hold on to everybody's lifestyle but this gives us an additional uh, you know um, energy into the skin just by providing the right kind of nutritional support that the skin needs mm -hmm. uh, by giving it through the laser MD. Now, yeah. uh, how long does the dual yellow laser treatment take and how long does the laser MD take in total? It depends. If the patient is having an acne treatment, my way of doing would be to open up the skin. So mm -hmm. we are using a very light salicylate uh, peel on the skin whereby the thickened, um, you know, chronic 
nodules and everything actually can open up, right. can become a bit better and allowing the laser rays to penetrate without impedance a lot deeper into the skin. Okay. So of course a treatment like that may take about an hour okay. because they will stay, which this we call as photodynamic treatment mm -hmm. where we are using a chemical to actually sensitize the laser more right. and allowing the results to be even more better. Okay. So then uh, that would take about an hour because the patient would be after preparation be on the chemical product for about 20 minutes yeah. and then we will neutralize it and then I would do the laser for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So oh. every treatment I do I would always uh, do the treatment on the nodules on the acne or if it is melasma I will specifically Targeted. treat the melasma because remember dual LO is a multi wavelength laser right. so it's not just yellow and green but it's also different combination 10% combination of green with the 90% combination of yellow right. or as in melasma 30% combination of green with 70% combination of Depending dual so it all it all depends on so it's a very specialized treatment so has to be done by a doctor so of course I always do these treatments okay. so I will always cover not just uh, reducing the problem but also strengthening the skin by using the yellow lights more mm -hmm. to do more rejuvenation because the stronger your skin is the more permanent your result will be. Thank you, Doctor. That's all the time that we have. Of course, if you're looking for uh, some treatment for you to be able to have a fresher, re more rejuvenated skin, you know where to go. Dr. Alice Perry Markle will be your solution for you. Now, uh, you. we will have uh, more interesting stories to share with you later. We'll be speaking to Professor Rosmawati Mohammad. Uh, world Hepatitis Day is just around the corner. We'll be speaking about hepatitis. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Thank you, Doctor.